Hi all, uh, Ben Wallace here. We're here at Oaks Kitchen and Garden. It's our venue in Oak Beach in tropical North Queensland. And we're specialising in cooking our Southeast Asian food, using tropical ingredients from the area, a lot of local produce, most of which we grow on site. Today, we're gonna to be cooking um, a dish using Spanish mackerel. So Spanish mackerel is a, it's a great local fish in the area, um, caught in the Coral Sea, um, just off the east coast of Cairns. Um, as you can see, it's a rather big piece, so we're probably only going to use about 150 grams of this for the dish that we're going to be making today. So here we've got all the ingredients that we're going to be using for our dish we're going to be making today. So the veg that goes into the curry itself is our pea eggplant, which we've got here, these little guys. So we're going to pick these guys off and use them. And then we've got our green papaya that we're going to peel and cut into some chunks. And then we've got our long green chili and then our two um, snake beans that we're going to be using. So that'll be the veg that goes in the curry. And then for the curry paste itself, that we're going to um, pound up in our mortar and pestle, we've got um, a stick of lemongrass, we've got our two cloves of garlic, our two shallot, we've got a dry bird's eye chilli that's been rehydrated in water, we've got four long red chilli that have been rehydrated in water as well, and then we've got our shrimp paste, our lemongrass, and then we've got a piece of turmeric as well. The first step to making our uh, Southern Thai style sour orange curry of Spanish mackerel is our veg. So we're gonna get our veg prep ready. So we're gonna get our pea eggplants up here ready to go, our snake beans, our long green chili, and our papaya. So for our veg prep, we just wanna get our two little snake beans here, and we're just gonna take, the, take this little end bit off, sometimes a little bit of muck in the end there, get rid of that. And we want to chop them into about, about one inch size pieces, just like that. And then next, we're going to go on to our pea eggplant. So these guys can be quite bitter, but they're really good in a the curry. They really hold their texture when you're cooking them. So all we need to do with these guys, they're pretty much ready to go. We just need to just pop them off like that. And we're going to use about 10. Next, we're going to move on to our long green chilli. So this curry's already got enough spice with the chilies that are in it because we've got these guys to add to the curry paste. So when we prep this guy, we're going to actually remove the seeds. So what we want to do is we're just going to slice the end off here and then we're just going down the middle just like that. And then we're just going to grab a spoon and we're just going to scrape out the seeds just like that. Don't worry if there's one or two in there, that's fine. Like that. And then once we get rid of them, and then we're just going to cut our chili on an angle, just into little chunks, just like this. So now we're on to our papaya. So this guy, we're obviously not going to use all of it, but we're going to have to peel it. Because we only need about five pieces or so, but we'll go through this. So we want to hold it, get a nice grip. And you kind of want to keep your hand still with the peeler and you're more moving the papaya. We just want to chop off one side of the papaya. You don't want to go too deep because there's seeds in the middle and if you go too deep, the seeds will go everywhere. So what we want to do is just like flat like this and then you just want to cut down just like that. And then what we want to do, because we only need five pieces of this papaya, so we're just going to cut it in half like this, and then we're just going to cut it into some random shapes. So we just kind of turn, chop, turn, chop, turn, chop, and turn. So we've got six pieces there, that's fine. And we'll put that there. So that's all our veg ready to go for our curry. So now we're going to get on to our curry paste. So now we're going to go on to making our curry paste. So it doesn't really matter. So we're going to just chop it into little bits and then we're going to um, pound it into a paste. So we'll just start with our garlic first. So all we want to do with this, we're just going to just slice it up in some little pieces. And then next we're going to go our shallots. So with these guys, again, we're going to smash it all up. So it doesn't really matter how we slice it. And then we'll go on to our chilies. So our chilies, we've rehydrated them in water overnight. And the reason we rehydrate them in water is because they are a little bit plasticky, but then if you get them in the water overnight, then you find they're a lot softer and easier to break down into a curry paste. 
But now we're going to add our lemongrass. So what we want to do with the lemongrass, we're just going to take off a little bit off the end there. And then we're just going to peel this little outside layers here. Sometimes there can be a little bit of dirt, a little bit of muck inside. So we'll get rid of those. And then just here where it starts going green, I'm just going to get rid of that bit. And then all we want to do is we just want to slice this guy up. And then next we've just got our little bit of turmeric here. So we've got about a teaspoon worth of turmeric. And what we're going to do is we're just going to just peel this guy. And then I'm just chopping it into smaller pieces. So that is all the fresh ingredients we're going to add to the curry paste. We just got one more thing to add, and that's our shrimp paste that we have here. So this is quite strong as well. So we're gonna add half a teaspoon of this guy. So we'll just roll him in there. So we got everything in our mortar and pestle down here. So what we wanna do is we wanna try smash it into a uniform paste. The trick is generally you wanna aim for the middle there and the mortar and pestle. You don't really wanna chase it too much around the sides. So we start off a little bit slow so it doesn't just fly out everywhere put my hand here like this to block any chilies that might come out and then this will take you about five minutes and then as it goes up the sides a little bit you can just scrape it back down to the center so we've got our paste here so it's the right consistency that we want it took about five minutes of um, pounding in our mortar and pestle so now what we want to do, we just want to scrape it down to the middle and then get our paste just like this. And there we go. So that's our curry paste. And now we're going to get onto our fish. So now we've got our nice little piece of mackerel that we're going to use here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this into some nice pieces just to poach the fish. So we're just going to slice this fish just like this. Some nice little poaching size pieces. And there we go. So we've got four nice pieces that we're going to poach. So we've got our fish here, we've got our veg ready, we've got our curry paste, and then here we've got the rest of the ingredients. We're going to use our stock, which is the base of our curry. Then we've got our seasoning ingredients over here. So we've got our fish sauce, our tamarind, our lime, and our caster sugar. First, we're going to add our fish stock into our pan. So this is a little bit different to your regular curries that you might be used to making. This is actually a boiled curry, so we're not actually frying the paste. So once we've got our stock, see how it's just been brought up to the boil there? Then we can turn it back down to a simmer, and then we're gonna add our curry paste. And we're just gonna add that gently so it doesn't flick up. So we wanna cook this guy out for about a minute or so. And then once that's cooked out, then we're going to add our papaya to our curry because that actually takes longer than the fish to cook because it's quite firm. So now we're going to add our seasoning. So we're going to add our caster sugar. And then we're going to add our fish sauce. And then we want to add our tamarind paste. So we want to give that a good little mix, get that in there. And then we're going to add our papaya. So the papaya will take just a couple of minutes by itself. And then we can pretty much add the fish and the veg, the rest of the remaining veg at the same time. And that's going to take about three minutes roughly to cook that. Cool, so our papaya has been in there starting to soften up slightly, but it's still gonna get another few minutes cooking with the fish. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna add our fish to our pot as well. And that's gonna take about three minutes. And we can also add our veg as well. So we're gonna add our pea eggplant, our snake beans, and our long green chili. And you just, you don't want to boil it too much. You just want it to just be simmering away. And then once that's done, then we're going to add our little bit of lime juice just to finish it at the end. So this curry is a, it's a sour curry, quite fresh. Goes really well with fish. So we've got the tamarind is a sour element and then we're going to add some lime as well at the end. So it's not like your normal fried curries at all. 
that have that little bit of palm sugar in there. So we just add a tiny bit of caster just to add a little bit of sweetness, just to balance it all out. So now what we want to do, we just want to add our teaspoon of lime juice. So that's just to finish it off. So we've turned that off the heat and we're just squeezing that in there like that. Now we're ready to plate up our curry. So what we want to do is, we've got our bowl here. So we just want to try, scoop out our fish first. And we're going down into the middle of the plate like this. And then we want to get our liquid and our bits of papaya. Cool, and once we've got all that in there, then to go on top of this guy, we're going to chop up some kaffir lime leaf we have. So we just want to get these guys like this, just inside each other, then do a little fold. We do a little fold again, and we're going to hold on to the stem here. Just going to slice this fairly fine. And then we just want to go just with our lime leaf, just over the top, just like that. And then we serve it just with a little bit of jasmine rice. And there we go. We have our southern style sour orange curry of uh, Spanish mackerel with jasmine rice. Enjoy.